become my apprentice. Learn to use the dark side of the Force. Alright, let's get started. Luke Skywalker was Darth Sidious' apprentice. This video was inspired from Ratty from Inside FPV YouTube channel, also the Film Theorist, and the Stupendous Wave, also KMAC Time. All YouTube channels, I watch a lot of YouTube. So, let's go. Alright, Ratty from Inside FPV, he brings to my attention Empire Strikes Back and also Return of the Jedi, where Yoda says, once you start down the dark path, forever will it dominate your destiny. Also, he brings up that in Return of the Jedi, he Darth Sidious, the Emperor, says, Strike me down with all of your hatred, and your journey towards the dark side will be complete. And what does Luke do? He tries to strike him down, but Vader blocks it, of course. And also, Luke taps into his dark side in that movie, and uh, chops his dad's mechanical hand off. You guys remember that in Return of the Jedi. Okay, the film theorist um, said, If Yoda feared Anakin training at 10 years old, then he must have been really panicking when forced to train 19-year-old, I think he was 19-year-old Luke Skywalker, because he's emotionally unstable like his father. Uh, Luke finds himself in Vader's suit at the testing cave. Also... Um, when Luke leaves Cloud City, he, Yoda says, If you choose the quick and easy path, as Vader did, you will become an agent of evil. And then in Return of the Jedi, he mentions uh, Luke's in all black, which is true. Um, and he sounds real cocky, brags about his power, and threatens to destroy Jabba right to his face. Alright, and one of the original creators, Gary Kurtz, he was the creator of um, A New Hope and Empire Strikes Back. He said the script was completely turned around by George Lucas for Return of the Jedi. Also, Mark Hamill uh, liked the darker characters. We all know he plays the Joker, usually he plays darker characters. It's not a surprise there. Okay, now for the stupendous wave theory. All right, Luke trained Snoke theory. Uh, Leia was aware... Well, Leia, sorry. Leia was aware of Snoke possibly... That she was implying that Snoke could have been at one time with the Rebels or the Resistance. Because in Episode 7 she does imply that she knew who he was. She knew about him already. As if maybe maybe they knew him knew him. And it's also possible remnants of Luke's past dark side was subconsciously passed down to some of his students at his new Jedi Academy. And what else does he mention? It was Luke's first time training, so it was easier for his students to be poorly trained to resist the dark side. They weren't properly trained. He didn't know what he was doing. It's his first time. He just built a school, killed his, almost killed his dad, killed his grandpa, basically. Emperor's like his grandpa. And um, it makes sense. I, I like this one. K-Mac Time by K-Mac Time. He has a like-father-like-son theory. It's called... Did Luke Skywalker kill the young Jedi in Episode 7? He believes because they started turning dark and bad, the, the students, the little ones. And we haven't actually seen who killed the students from the new Jedi Order. He said something about the clan leader doing it in it, that it mentions that in Episode 7. I've seen Episode 7, but I don't remember. I need to see it again. So, like father, the father kills the, the good Padawans, and the son kills, kills the bad ones. All right. All right, guys, feel free to send me a message, ask any questions, um, you want a shout out or anything, just let me know. Uh, like, subscribe, anything you want. All right, enjoy your day. Thanks, bye.